Weather Authority Local Forecast. Yeah, I kid you not. I was home with my wife, and she's like, we got to turn to the voice. Yeah. I love Tanner's that. On. Tanner's this on. would be I mean, awesome. She's, she's cracking the whip on that one. It's so good. We got a lot of humans definitely pulling for Tanner. Aww. I think all of humans. Yeah. Let's just face yeah. it, all of you. All right, here's <laughs> what we're looking at with your RV World Human Sky Cam. We certainly have uh, some nice nightlife here in the desert southwest on this Monday night as we close out November and open up the month of December. All right, here's what we're looking at with, yes, the satellite radar perspective, some high clouds further to the north and eventually they'll kind of wander our way. So we'll have a mostly clear night by the time this is all said and done. Now temperatures at this time, we're starting to peak up with some 60 plus degree conditions for the most part, with the exception of Salton City and Holtville, but it won't be too long before those cities will start to cooperate as well as far as the 60 degree plus realm is concerned. Over in Eastern Yuma County, much of the same. We got high end 60s and even low 70s in some cases over in Yuma County. Now for the near future, we do have uh, some inclement weather to say the least over in the eastern half of the country, but then over in the west, as you can see, not too much. We're kind of in the back end of a system and yes, we got another high pressure ridge beginning to form out west that will actually give us a little bit more warm influence as we get on into your Tuesday before we start to back off from that. We'll get into that in a little bit, but as you can see, the wind speeds certainly not going to back off too much. We'll start to increase it a little bit along the Colorado River corridor, stretching over into Imperial County as well. We could have winds gusting possibly up to 20, so we're not talking about anything super significant. We're just letting you know that we are going to be somewhat breezy as we get on through much, if not the rest of this week, at least in the Yuma side of the desert southwest and parts of Imperial as well. Your Metrocast 52 degrees by midnight. We should check in and around the high end 40s as we wake up in the wee hours of the morning. And of course, we'll get up into the low end 70s as we get to the noon hour. And of course, for your extended forecast, we are certainly going to keep the 70s thriving for the most part. I mean, we'll get a little bit above uh, normal for Tuesday, but then we'll get right on track or at least close to it for the rest of the week. Keep in mind, we'll have the breezies through Friday in Yuma. And then from there, it's just smooth sailing. I mean, not a lot of wind, but we're going to continue to keep it pretty even keeled and temperature should be around 71 to 72 degrees. So that goes without saying. That's why we put up those awesomes up there on the board. So when you see that, you know that's exactly or at least close to exactly where we need to be for this time of year.